hello hello what's happening family let me turn my ac down i got it blasting Let's see okay can you hear me better now listen i went to the thrift store you guys know that i'm a thrifty a thrifty shopper right let me show you what i found in the thrift store this morning Check this out, ladies. Can you see that? It's 100% genuine leather. And I only paid, um, it's a shoulder bag. And I only paid $15 for it. Can you believe that? This is why I'm always in thrift stores. I mean, it's in perfect condition. It, ha it has this little compartments and shit. I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Really. And it's the leather is so soft, guys. Yeah. I'm forever in the thrift store. You know what? I'm planning on having, like, a shopping thing on here for the ladies. And, fellas, if you're interested, let me know. Because... I'm since I've been out of work, I've been in thrift stores a lot, and they have some awesome shit. Really, they really do. Um, yesterday, I got this today, and from a different thrift store. Yesterday, I purchased a Longer Burger purse. I don't know if you're familiar with Longer Burger. I didn't even know they made handbags and purses. I thought they only made like um, wicker wicker furniture and wicker baskets and stuff. I didn't know that Longer Burger also has um handbags and purses and shit i didn't know that and i think i bought a purse a handbag with a um strap for like six dollars and i think it retails at like fifteen dollars i think fifteen to sixteen dollars i'm not really sure because i'm not really familiar with longer burger I know that white folks love Longer Burger um, merchandise. <laughs> and um, I was going to sell the purse, but then I looked at it and I was like, well, hell, it's not bad looking. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> really, it's not that bad. Excuse me. Oh, God, I'm sitting here sweating. I should have left the air up. Okay, I'm getting ready to read to you guys. Give me a minute. I wrote down some, some shit because... Uh, I'm pissed off again <laughs> but you guys know I stay pissed off right all right so let's begin little Wayne and 50 cent I got to address these idiots I have to I tried not to I try to ignore them but now they're kind of like getting out of hand okay so I'm gonna have to speak on it little Wayne and 50 cents or 50 cent seems to have issues with us black women how ironic because both of them are as dark as we come 50 and wayne is black as shit so it's very ironic that they seem to have issues with black people black women in particular 50 says he loves exotic women and he prefers them over black women and then he says that black women are angry. Let me say this before I say anything else. Uh, what do you consider exotic? That's my question. And number two is, I'm a black woman and yes, I'm angry. And I say every black person in the United States should be angry. And if they're not fucking angry, then they have a mental issue, okay? Because our sons, our mothers, our daughters, our nephews, our nieces, our parents are being murdered daily. So if, if you're a black person in America and you're not angry, something's fucking wrong with you. So yes, I'm a black woman that's angry, yes. So 50 and uh, Little Creek needs to get, I mean Little Wayne, needs to get their motherfucking heads checked. Because something's not, like, turning up there. Okay? 
first I'm going to say that 50 looks like a chimpanzee and little Wayne looks like a gremlin I repeat 50 looks like a chimpanzee and little Wayne looks like a, a fucking uh, gremlin okay I'm gonna get that out the way so the both of them are not hurting anyone's feelings by dating outside of their race the fact that they are saying this shit publicly is where I have a, a problem with them at. The fact that they're saying this shit publicly. We as black people are facing so much in this country for these dumb ass clowns to be speaking publicly about dumb shit. It pisses me the fuck off. Both of these ass wipes have black children and as dark as they are I'm sure that their parents are black as well so not only are they disrespecting our race but you're disrespecting your own goddamn family your children and your parents and your nieces and your cousins and your nephews 50 cent I'm not surprised by your statements because you said some crazy shit about your own goddamn son so I when you go that far as to say the shit about your damn son, I'm not surprised by anything that comes out of your mouth after that. Okay? And Little Wing, you have been tonguing it out with Birdman. So we know that both of you guys have zero morals. Zero morals. Both of you have a lot of self-hate and it runs rapid in the black community. Self-hate. And 50 Cent and Lil Wayne are prime examples of self-hate. Prime examples of self-hate. No matter how many mixed mutts you two date, you both will still be, I'm sorry, you both will still be dark black. Let me repeat that, y'all. <laughs> it didn't come out right. 50 and Lil Wayne. No matter how many mixed mutts y'all date, both of y'all asses will still be dark black okay it's not gonna change what you look like it's not gonna change who you are or what you are you both still will be dark black so what's your point what's your point if y'all ugly asses didn't have money these mixed mutts wouldn't give y'all the time of day hell if y'all didn't have money, I wouldn't give you the time of day. <laughs> really. So I know these fucking half-breeds wouldn't give you the time of day if you didn't have no money. And you guys know that. Y'all know it. A lot of black people suffer from internalized racism. Meaning that black people sometimes adopt a white supremacist mindset that results in self-hatred and hatred of their own race. I'm taking a stand against black people who betray their own race. It's like this, it's like this. Okay, let me explain it to you. It's like this. If y'all self-hating Negroes want to date outside your race, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. But how about shutting the fuck up while you're doing it? Nobody cares. There's going to come a time when we beautiful, strong Nubian people are going to have to rid our community of Toms, Coons, Mulattoes, Mammies, and Bucks. We must do this. We must do this. We must rid our community of Toms, Coons, Mulattoes, Mammies, and Bucks. Shit, Harriet Tubman did it, and she had no problem with it. And we must do it as well. So to make a long story short, don't nobody give a fuck about 50 Cent. 